Well, the population across the whole state of Florida growing at an incredible rate, especially here in Tampa Bay, where the, in the coming decades, we're set to see more people move here than South Florida. Yeah, the boom is here mm -hmm. and will impact every aspect of our lives. In this special Full Circle Earth Week report, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us what's being done to keep up with unprecedented demand. This is Tampa in the early 1890s, a photo taken at the top of a minaret at the former Tampa Bay Hotel. This is the same view today. More than 130 years have passed, time changing so much. Housing, traffic, climate change are three of the top issues that urban planners are facing. One of your challenges has to be being able to construct and build as fast as all these people are coming here to keep up. It is, and that's actually, we're kind of at a pivotal moment right now for, for Tampa. We're shifting from a mix of redeveloping our existing areas and new development to just redeveloping. So just looking at our existing neighborhoods, existing districts, existing corridors, and figuring out where we can have more employment, more housing, and more people. Stephen Benson is the director of city planning. He says Tampa is built out, so the goal is to use existing land to develop smart. That means building up, not out, and focusing heavily on pedestrian and bike paths, expanding and modernizing the trolley, and creating live, work, play environments. What would your dream development look like? The perfect <laughs> blend of an urban planner. I think a neighborhood that uh, you can access all of your daily needs without having to get into a car. Our region is preparing for even more people. Hillsborough County in the top five for growth by 2050, estimated to add more than 485,000 people, outpacing Miami-Dade, Lee, and Palm Beach counties. But our entire state is a hot spot. The highest estimates show that our population going from nearly 22 million people today to more than 31 million in 2050. Growth to a certain extent is really inevitable. Uh, change is inevitable, but the city can help guide that growth and that change in a way that most people are going to appreciate and enjoy and, and envision for themselves in the future. The Tampa of today does not look like the Tampa from years ago, and this skyline in 2050 will definitely look a lot different. The question is, how do we do it, and if we will do it the right way? That's what everyone right now is trying to answer. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.